G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Chuck's Garage and today we have a pretty special guest who has actually worked at the football club, Port Adelaide Football Club, uh, probably for longer than I've been alive. So he's got a pretty special Holden, so let's go see him. All right, g'day guys. Now we have Bobby here, and now Bobby's been working at the football club for a very, very long time, and uh, he's a mad car man as well, which is, there's only a few of us, actually only me and you and maybe Lockie, so uh, we always chat about what we're working on lately, and this is what Bobby's been working on lately, mate. Tell me a bit about it. Uh, well, this is a car I bought about three years ago from an old panel beater guy that lived up in Queensland, and uh, he had restored it back to original with the uh, skinny wheels and yeah. standard height and all that. And I brought it down to Adelaide and uh, proceeded to uh, put it back how I liked them back in the 60s. <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. So did you lower it? And... Yeah, lowered it, put, uh, the, had the wheels widened. Um, oh, we've done a lot of prep work for improving the brakes. I've got a power yeah. booster there, but I've got to get another inlet manifold with the, uh, the, the fitting in it so I can have the vacuum hose, all that sort of thing. But yeah. all the plumbing, all, everything's done for that. I'll put a retro radio in there that looks like the original one. you tell me about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's lots of things. The, uh, the paint was a little bit uh, lemon peely on the roof, yeah. so I spent a month rubbing all that back with 3000 wet rub and <laughs> polished it back to like mirror finish again. This, yeah. Though I eventually want to do the whole car. And, yeah, yeah uh, okay. Get it like up and, it looks all right now, but I reckon I can do it better. Oh, well, it, does, it looks very good, I don't, yeah. I don't think you need to touch it, mate. <laughs> but hey, there's those things where you just need to, because you know that's there, yeah. there, there, yeah. you just need to do them, so yeah. I can appreciate that. Well, I want to pop the bonnet, mate. Let's see what's oh, under this good. beast. Oh, it's rippling <laughs> with muscle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know to start on these. I mean, my uncle used to have the ute sitting in there. Oh, there you go. In his paddock, Ooh, we used to go sit in them, but... Yeah, yeah so this used to have a oil bath oil cleaner on it, which okay. was very messy and yeah. attract a lot of dust. So that's a later model hold and one oh, of the okay. paper air filter yep. element. That's the that's uh, booster. booster that I've fitted and I've got all the pipe work, all the plumbing's already done, but I need to change that inlet manifold. I've got a twin throat downdraft Weber to go on there, extractors. So that'll all get done in one hit. Absolutely. And the original brake reservoir was down on top of the master cylinder. Yeah, okay. Which meant you had to lay on the ground and have a gooseneck filler and keep squirting hydraulic fluid in until it all ran over the edges and made a hell okay. of a mess. So we got that made up and uh, made life a lot easier. Absolutely. So you've basically made, like, you've customised it, everything because you want to drive it and you want to be yeah. able to service it easier. Yeah. And yeah. you do drive it, right? Yes, I do, I do. Absolutely. And it's been converted to uh, 12 volt. It used to be a six volt uh, in system center, in yeah. there. So we've got a, a Ford motorcraft. Beg your pardon. Well, <laughs> <laughs> People would uh, skin you for doing that I to know, one of these, I know, wouldn't they? But that, that was, uh, that's what we did. That's what I found. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if I fit in this. this oh, yeah. uh, now you said this is like the Calais model, right? Yeah. 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 And that's and how do you know that it's a Calais model? Well, this the uh, proof of the series number on the um, the uh, body number says it's a model two two five, which is a special. Okay. So, oh, uh, the specials. Hence yeah. the uh, number plates. Yeah. FJS two two five. There you so. go. I remember I said in one of these before and. Oh, there's not not a whole lot of room, but there was a bit more the... room than that other car, isn't there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's plenty of room in the drive-in, mate. <laughs> 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 Put a couple of extra pages of the, uh, what was that book? The uh, 
Well, I can't think of it now, but <laughs> Karma Sutra, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> a couple extra ones on that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is fitted with a taxi rail at the back. Yeah. Foam rail. You put a turbo or something on this thing, make it go real yeah. fast. Yeah. <laughs> now, three on the tree, is it? Three on the tree, yep. That's uh, original old crash box. There's no synchro on first. So. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. That's how you learn how to double the clutch, mate. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I actually fit pretty well in this. Yeah. Well, heaps of headroom, like yeah. heaps. This is comfortable. Oh, yeah, Definitely just smells like an old Holden. It like, does. It's just it like does. Dad's was like yeah. Dad's HR, same thing. That just, whiff of oil. Yeah. <laughs> petrol. So this is the um, original, the, the, the retro radio. The retro radio. Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? Yep. It actually looks like it's supposed to be there. Yeah. You've got the old Dac Art Deco fascia on it. <laughs> Bloody good, mate. This is yeah. awesome. <laughs> and I had that's problems with the, the boot. What's that? I said, that's a good sound. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I just like. They shut. Closed. Yeah. Yeah. Just cars don't make sounds yeah. that anymore. <laughs> when I got it, there was a piece of wood that used to hold up the boot lid yeah. because the springs used to break. But I fixed all that up. But unfortunately, to do that, you've got to cut the body and weld new uh, Oh, OK. Things. And I made these little toolbox things up to fit up on top of the... Oh, yeah. There's one on that side and one on the other side. You're pretty handy, aren't you, mate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I made a hubcap removal tool because they're very hard to get the hubcaps off once you've... So you made them. a tool? Yeah, that's like a... It's a... Imagine your finger just hooking in there and there's a a bar and oh you just, yeah you just ping it and it comes off without scratching anything or hey that's a key isn't it yeah you think of everything don't you mate i do <laughs> <laughs> i haven't got much time left mate I'm oh bullshit, mate. you'll be you'll be going forever and no. that that's the voltage regulator what we're going to do up as a polarizer oh we okay polarizer. <laughs> <laughs> what why not? Yeah, exactly. Why not? Yeah. It's your car. You do whatever you want yeah. to it. But I don't drill holes in anything. I uh, think things over, like all these attached to the mudguard yeah, bolts. Yeah, okay, that are Same already there. Two, and that's an old Morris 1100 uh, expansion tank. Yeah, yeah okay. That, and that's bolted on the mudguard as well. That's using awesome. existing screws and things. So, yeah. Oh, well, mate, you're a jack of all trades, then, not So, like I said, you try and keep everything you can go back. Yeah, exactly. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, so if I, I can't go back to anything no, I build, hey, no, everything's no, wrecked. No. <laughs> now, yeah. going forward, mate, you said you want to like sort of rough it back. Are they the only sort of real plans with it? Or? Oh, we'll get the um, double bell carby on there. Oh, yep. The extractors, another exhaust system, just something not not too loud, just a bit of a rumble. Yeah. And. Uh, get the uh, braking system all improved, get that hooked up. Absolutely. I'll do that over a course of a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, so, but football holds you up a bit, you know. Yeah, you know I know, it just right. gets in the way, doesn't it? It does, it does. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. thanks for coming on, mate. No worries. Appreciate it. We've got this uh, little present for you. Oh, brilliant, mate. And, um, Thank you very much. No worries, and then we'll uh, get you sign the wall, and then we'll get him to do a big burnout. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that in the car. Here we go. All right. Oh, you going to put your license plate tag on there? Oh, yeah, what is it? Uh, FJ, yes. I'll do that. Yeah. Do that first. Yep. And the signature. Yeah. You're going to copy that one? <laughs> Good man. Go. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Cheers.